Good morning, my friends, to Marty's Garden at Clunes. Yes, I was down in Suffolk Park in Byron Bay. I'm about 24 kilometres away from where I was before. Just inland in the... Well, we don't really call them the mountains. We call them the hinterland here because they're really just hills. And behind me, you can see the little cabin that I'm living in. It's like a one-bedroom with a lounge room and a kitchen in one and two verandas at each end. Beautiful views. And we've got alpacas here and some lovely some lovely dogs for Karen to play with and beautiful people to share this uh, environment with and as you would have saw in the last video I had a big storm come through and it blew over all my microgreen stands which were protected quite well at the Suffolk Park Byron Bay uh, micro farm from the weather but here it's more exposed so in a way I guess it's sort of a blessing because it's actually made me improve my system what, I've, what I'm putting together and being a micro farmer this is what you can put in your backyard to grow microgreens and other crops so let's head inside and um, give you a bird's eye view of the the new the new little mini greenhouse that i've put up and the space inside and what i'm up to let's go and have a look shall we so this is the new shelter logic mini greenhouse it's around about six feet by six feet by six feet but 1.8 meters uh, around also in the Australian uh, scale of things uh, you can see here growing on, on the table over here I have my microgreens I've just pulled them out from the greenhouse um, the reason being is because i um, just let this shade go through here this white reflective coming off the outside provides a lot more light bouncing back from that east morning sun which is just beautiful and it'll help them grow and it gives them a bit of protection so it's, it's in a way it's created its own little microclimate with that white reflection so that's going to make them grow a lot faster outside than they would actually inside so that's a really interesting view and you improved red sango radish look at those guys now I did lose quite a few crops but I'm not going to let that defeat me this is uh this is all in the name of the game of getting better as what, what you do as time goes on all right so let's step inside and show you inside the shelter logic mini greenhouse for outdoor well this is basically designed for you know for people in their backyards and small farmers inside the shelter logic yes it's quite warm in here already um you, you would have noticed before i had a two little jumpers on a flannel shirt and a little top over the top of me and um, I'm hot in here uh, already so this is you know we need warmth from water to germinate seeds and these guys come up early because they hadn't yet gotten into the microgreen stand they've been out in the cold weather so some of them are going to germinate at different times but they'll all should come up soon the rest of these ones so these ones are a bit slow germinating because of that reason but this guy is all going to come up nice and even. So these ones are all going to come up just a little bit late. Other than these ones. But I'll just eat those. These little, these the first ones that are coming up. So I'm not worried about that. They will just go straight to the chopping block into my salad. As these new little ones come up and grow a nice even little, what do I call a little microgreen hedge. Because I trim them all. Now underneath in the trays here. We have these protected in case any uh, animals come in. It also just product, produces a little bit of humidity and it, they warm up as well. So through the day, these black containers actually get hot and that'll help them germinate a bit more. Uh, down here, I've got some rocket, which is arugula coming up and that's really cool. I'm just storing these down here. Now you may be wondering why I have these bricks in here. Well, they have these um, tie, special like tie downs to hold the the actual canopy well the actual cover down if it gets windy but I didn't use those I used bricks and the reason why I've used bricks is because bricks warm up and they store and trap heat and they will actually warm up through the day and unfortunately when the ground's cold like this um, the cold will come up through the bricks but they will warm up and then actually drop you know let that heat go out through the day to keep it a little bit warmer for just that little bit longer into the evening now this cover here will probably go over it uh, in this in the summertime just launch over the top and this tray stands not even being used yet you 
hear a bit of background noise, some birds, some mowers, some different things going off. Guess we are in, um, it's, it's not really, it's, you know, we're in a country landscape, but people need to work around here as well, and mowing the lawns and cutting trees back and all different types of stuff, so it's not always that quiet. Today's probably been the no noisiest day of the week so far. But anyway, look, um, getting back to uh, the, the, the mini greenhouse. Now, I actually find this is a really much better than some of the other little ones I've looked at. The plastic is very strong, but usually you only get a couple of years out of them. They get belted by the sun. It has, you know, the good windows, a window at each end to allow the airflow through. What I normally do is I open this door right up and then I open the other window at the back, which we'll, we'll do now. So you can see there's the brand Shelter Logic. Now, if they've got them in Amazon, I'll, I'll try and have a look and see, and I'll add a link down to Amazon. So I do quite recommend this. It's cost me around about 200 Australian dollars, so it might be a little bit cheaper in the US and through Amazon. And uh, I, I quite like it. Uh, they, they, they say that this actually reflects a lot of light inside the greenhouse as well which will help with a lot of overgrowth and stuff. You can see here we're looking through the windows here. So I'll open that back door at the back and that'll allow air to flow from one end to the other and keep it nice and circulated, that airflow, because we don't want to get any mould issues inside the mini greenhouse. The rest of the garden's still in building phase and I am, you know, I'm planting lots of different plants. Now some of these have just been transplanted so they're going to take a while to come back. The recycled worm farm system is going to actually get a lot bigger. I'm getting some uh, from the local store every day, a box of fresh compost and we'll be really taking this to a whole new level of micro farming and getting those red wriggle worms. So I might, I might even be able to create a product that is evolved around composting and wriggle worms. So that's really it for today's video. I just wanted to give you a look at the new mini greenhouse, the shelter logic that I'm using, and I'll be showing you over time how much I can get in and out of there, uh, you know, like in, in volume and also other things that I'm going to be doing around the farm. Now, remember, this is a, it's a micro farm. I'm not going into huge scale. Um, I'm keeping this to the size of what anyone can do in, its, in a, you know, a decent sized backyard. And even for people like who are just growing at home in a very small space, such as on the veranda, you can copy this model just in a smaller scale. So you can either scale up or scale down either way. So it's for any of you guys that just love to grow food fast, nutritional food fast and learn how to do it in a sustainable manner that's really cheap yeah frugal and even away because I love recycling and using everything that I can around the place to keep things growing healthy and the crops going out to the restaurants I'll be delivering again next week as you can see from these guys behind I reckon they'll be ready on Tuesday well that's what I'm hoping if the weather goes as good as expected all right look um uh, my neck's still a bit sore, uh, I'm sort of stumbling through these videos a bit, but I want to get them out to you and do the best I can. Um, I've got some other things coming up about some of the bush foods and the windbreaks, and the native windbreaks that I'm going to be making. They're going to be all about Australian native foods and medicinal plants and things like that, that everything can be used in this garden and handed out to friends, sold and eaten at home to save money and get those health benefits up. All right, I'm Marty Ware from Marty's Garden. If you haven't subscribed to Marty's Garden, head over to YouTube if you're in Facebook now and subscribe over there. And if you're in Facebook, then just share it with your buddies and let people know what's going on at Marty's Garden in Clunes in Northern New South Wales, Australia. Happy gardening and we'll see you in the next video real soon. Bye for now.